guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. We're taking a look at another product from Snail Shell. This is another one of their GN project figures. This again is the character Wolf. So it's GN001 Wolf. This is the third release of this character. They're all called GN001 Wolf, but then there are different versions of her. So there was the initial GN001 Wolf. The second release was the Wolf version armored. And then the third release, which is right here, is the GN001 Wolf version swimsuit because as you can see this is a casual version this is a beach version swimsuit version all right let's take a look at the measurement on this figure get things started here okay and from my view and she's pretty upright or whatever so i'm gonna go with it six and a half inches tall okay Maybe something different after I watch it on video here, but looking through the LCD, six and a half inches, and I'm pretty comfortable with that. Now, the cool part about this figure is, again, it's the third release from this company. Well, fourth release from this company because there was a Wonderfest variant, but third mold, and honestly, lots of improvement over the previous two. So, a lot tighter joints. Um, I think that they work the accessories a lot better with her, things like that. Just little engineering changes and things that, yeah, it's nice to see an already good company continue to improve. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the accessories, get some comparisons knocked out. And yeah, these pieces are modular, so the parts can interchange and stuff like that. Lots of fun to be had with this one. I'm gonna say in advance, very biased towards these figures. I think they're really good, really cool really neat idea i love original stuff especially when it looks as good as these do and play as well as these do so i highly recommend them um as you're watching this go ahead click a tab look in the item description buy yours from wherever it says to buy you know and enjoy them too but anyway let's go ahead and get started with this review okay so for comparison's sake i've got quite a few of these or whatever i love the mix and match and stuff like that but i took three so you could see each of the releases side by side. So, this is the original GN001 Wolf. I believe that was released in 2019. Last year, 2020, was Wolf version armored. Okay, you can see this one's quite a bit taller. It has the, I, the armored cybernetic parts and stuff like that. There's no freaking story to these guys either. I wish Nail Shell would do something about that so we can kind of know what the heck's going on. We don't know anything about this character. For all we know, it could be a villain or something like that. But that's what it is. But anyway, this is the latest release one being reviewed right now. Again, GN001 Wolf version swimsuit. So, you can see a comparison of them. Now, one thing to note is that the bodies, the torsos, are all same size. But the legs on the armored version make her a bit taller. So, she measures two. Again, the other six and a half. This one he is about seven and a quarter inches tall. So big change there. It's about half inch difference there. Okay, and looking at the accessories, she comes with a briefcase that has a blaster as well as a blade that goes underneath the blaster. Okay. Snapshot. Make sure we can focus on that. We'll go over all of these individually as well. Get back focus on the accessories themselves though. Four blades here. Each of these blades can go inside of this umbrella here. And uh, it's hard because you can't be an exact judge of materials used, but it seems like this is actual glass. Like a temper type of glass, either that or a really good plastic, really thick and heavy, this umbrella itself. And I'm not going to rotate the umbrella at the moment. Just kind of want to show you guys what's going on here, because again, we'll go over all of the accessories individually. Just want to give an overview here of kind of what it comes with and she comes with a lot of stuff as you can see all right so she comes with this canister which attaches to her back using that adapter there 
and both ends, this end comes up, right? looks to be ammo there, as well as a handle for her to carry it instead of just keep it on her back. Two additional hair fronts, two additional faces, and the hair fronts have the visor both up and down. Two additional sets of feet, barefoot, as well as uh, sandals. Now, the bare feet, it says it's a pre-order bonus, but if it's anything like the Armored Wolf, I got a feeling they'll come with however many re-releases they do of these because the Wolf version armor was supposed to have the non-helmeted hair as a pre-order exclusive too, but that's come out with, that's come with each run. Now these faces have moving eyes, which we'll go over. This is the piece that goes with it. It does come with an extra of that. All right, so these pieces here, this is the pole to her umbrella, as well as an, an optional piece. It can, can turn into a staff, a bladed staff as well. A handle there. This piece attaches to this canister, and you could connect it to either the blaster that we just went over in there, or this satellite too. Satellite has a open and close gimmick. These are just ends, like this goes on the top of the umbrella, this goes on the bottom of the pole. Now I'll go over my gripes with some of these accessories, like these two pieces, this is a heavy metal wire, as well as this being a pretty weighty pole. And this is a plastic figure, so they do weigh down on the joints and stuff, but again, I'll get into more detail there. Variety of hands, explains itself. This, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, so we'll go ahead, bring it closer focus there it attaches to the side of her leg um i don't know if that has something to do with weaponry it's just its own thing it doesn't attach to anything but the side of her leg pegs in uh, again i i don't know what it is looks cool but don't know what it is now the briefcase also opens and can be used as kind of a shield type deal this or a barrier barricade and these are two legs for when standing up this is just a piece that goes underneath the umbrella now, in terms of extra pieces, it does come with a few extra things. It comes with an extra one of these, the piece that moves around the eyes, an extra uh, metal wire, as well as... What else does it come with? Oh, an additional wrist peg. So not an accessory, but just an additional wrist peg. Because <sighs> removing the hands on this thing, it's easy, but it is kind of a, a learned, delicate art <laughs> that you just... Kind of pick up on really quick, but there is potential for the wrist to break or whatever if you don't do it right. So we'll go ahead and go over that too when we're changing out the hands and stuff like that. But those are the accessories. Okay, so I just want to give you guys a general roundabout of the figure. As well, let's go over one piece that I skipped during the accessories, so we talked about how the canister can peg into her back, but completely forgot about her tail here. It's an adapter piece, and then this is on a ball joint. And it just goes in. I wonder if I can get it right. All right, so there's that. And I will say the balance on her is really, really good. I'm a fan. And then with the tail, you have the option of turning it whichever way you want. I'll keep it down for right now. Okay. And another piece we'll go ahead and attach here is that that piece I was talking about. The pegs into her leg there. Again, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. Is it something to do with weapons? Is it a communicator? What is it? Okay. You got a shot of the back with the tail on. And now we can go ahead and go over the basics of the articulation. Double jointed or double ball jointed neck peg. So a 
at the tip of the neck there's articulation as well as on the head itself so lots of upwards well not as much upward but downward for sure upward kind of blocked by her hair but as you saw 360 ability to tilt her head side to side lots of emoting there so with the shoulders they can butterfly in and out parallel beyond parallel 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows the wrist peg in so you can swivel them and then they have rock one-way rock okay all right two ball joints for the abs one at the bottom one where the abs meet the chest so back bend lots of back bend all right ab crunch you see the ab crunch there and now we'll go over there as well she has a longer torso so it's not like a real c crunch or anything like that but pretty decent now in terms of swivel i mean she can literally 360 with that you kind of got to watch where that pegs in but she can 360 at the waist itself too all right so the hips The butt blocks a lot of the back movement. Boom. Knee. Good back and forth. Now with the ankle tilt. Boom. Boom. So lots of articulation there. And by nature, she's just a lankier character, so it's really cool to see. But just, I haven't done a superhero landing on one of these in a while. Let's see if she can bend down to do it. Yeah, she's so lanky that she has to split her legs a bit more than I'd like. So, not quite there. And that's unfortunate. But, with the right angle, you can pull off the perception. Now, if only she could look up. That would really seal the deal. But from the front side, actually, that's not bad. Not really too bad. Just a little sample. Okay, so now we're going to look at the head gimmicks. So you change out the front of her hair. It just pulls off. Boom. Face came off with it. This is a good thing. The back of the hair comes off too. Because the hairs on these are interchangeable. So we'll get that back. Boom. Get the face back on. Boom. And then let's try a different front hair piece. And boom. Okay. So pretty simple. Okay. So there's the one with the glasses up. It's hard for me to wedge my fingernail in there, but. All right. Boom. Get that face on again. Boom. And this will be the one with the glasses on. Right. I'm not the biggest fan of the shades on with this one. They're a bit too uh, retro for me. It's almost like something you'd see in a movie about the future that was like produced in 1970 or something like that, if that makes sense. So, okay. Okay. Now, one thing I wanted to go over is the gimmicks on all of the faces. So, all right. Make sure I'm focused. I'm going to lighten up the video because I think the shadows from my fingers covering it up a bit. But there's that. And actually, I think it's easier if we get the camera down. Okay. So on the back of each of the faces, make sure I'm focused right here. 
you have the backs of the eyes. And you see they have that Phillips like cross. And what you can do is take this tool. It works really well, really easy. And move the eyes around. So just fits in like so. Boom. And then from the front, if you can see that eye, we can actually move them both around. So let's make both eyes face to her right. All right. So boom. Boom. All right. So now, boom. And now you don't need multiple faces and things like that. And it works really well. I wasn't the biggest fan because the last one I had was like a Rebel Tech that did it. And I just had the damnedest time with it. But, I mean, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. But, you know, for the sake of this, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. I've already got this one facing that way. So now we can look at the other faces, too. So let's go ahead, get the figure back into play. Obviously won't want her facing this. And one thing I will say is that I wish this held on a bit better with friction, the back of the hair. Once you've got it all together, it's fine. But until then, it's kind of a, kind of a SOB. But we'll get this front hair on, boom. Make sure she's good and balanced. All right. I know it's a bit light, so we'll darken it up a few notches. Boom, boom, zoom in. Line it up one click. Okay. Squinty eyed face, or a winking face. Squinty eye. I don't know why I said that. And the last face that she comes with, again, really don't like that, that the back of that hair doesn't stay on better with friction, especially since everything's so tight, because it's like once you do get it removed, everything kind of explodes. Uh, I actually like this with her, without the shades. She has a crying face. And of course there are 50 million fan servicey things that could be done with this face. Well, there you go. And that's it. Those are the faces, as well as the different hair fronts showing the um, shades both up and over her eyes, as well as the eye gimmick and how those move. Okay, so first accessory we're going to look at is the umbrella. Um, we already went over the umbrella itself. Now with the pole, this metal piece here. Go ahead. slide this handle piece down as far as you want. Um, when it comes to kind of getting it slid on and off, kind of press it down on something. Same with the opposite way and then slide it down. Holds on really well by friction. So put it about, mm, it's hard to find a good length for it. I wish it wasn't so tight in terms of the friction, but it's what it is. Rather have it tighter than loose. So there's that. This piece here goes on the bottom. And then from there, 
making sure that I'm doing this correctly. Right there, that guy. And then, on the other side of here, there's a peg. That this pegs into. Got that. Did my bottom piece fall off? Yeah, it did. Of course it did. So, zoom it out so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. There you go. That's the umbrella. Okay, and yeah. Um, she's holding the umbrella here. It has to hold it two-handed. Too heavy for her to hold it one-handed. What they should have done instead of this weird kind of diamond type base they should have just had like a flat pedestal or something like that so the umbrella can literally stand on its own and then you could just have her hold it but unfortunately trying to get her to hold it with one hand it starts to weigh down on the arm and then the hips and then the figure just falls over this is a really heavy piece and i did confirm that this is plastic not glass but it's very heavy between that and the pole um different decisions should have been made with uh this umbrella piece all right, and we got a lot going on with this one. Changed out the end of the umbrella for the blade, so she has the full staff going. Took one of the swords off of the umbrella right there. Uh, made her eyes veer sideways, as well as putting on the canister. And that satellite piece. I think it looks best from that angle. But there we go. That's a lot of them knocked out. All right, and lastly on these accessories, we've got the briefcase being used as a barricade. We've got her holding her blaster. The wire is so hard to manage that I don't attach it to the blaster like you can. That is an option, but since you have to kind of take it off, manage it, it's just in such close proximity. I like her arm being able to be free so I can pose and stuff like that. What I think I'm going to do is actually get some rubber wire or something like that from Lowe's. That's the same gauge or thickness or whatever. So, see how that goes. Let me give you guys a roundabout here. And I'm sure you noticed the winky face too. One thing I forgot is that I changed her shoes as well to the sandals. I like her those a lot better than the tennis shoes. But yeah, I dig this kind of stuff quite a bit. Uh, minus the wire. The wire, everything metal die cast, it feels like, on this piece, just really wasn't necessary. They could have went with, like, a thinner wire or something like that. Or maybe, like, a coated thinner wire to give it that thickness but not make it so hard to manage. Like, that kind of thing. But once you get this in hand, you'll see that this wire piece is just something else. The last piece that I'd like to go over for this one are the modular aspects of it. So modular pretty much means interchangeable. We saw how like the hair and things like that, the faces changed out, but there are body parts that change out too, and you can use them to swap parts with other releases in this line, like the initial wolf and the armored wolf that we uh, went over at the beginning of this review. So if you look, her arm here comes off, right there. Her chest comes off. And the legs come off as well. So what I'm going to do are take some pieces. Sorry for hitting the camera there. Take some pieces from some other figures, mix them up, uh, show you something, and show you where all the parts came from. Okay, and closing it out, we've got that mix and match going on. So, let's take a look at the parts. The arm here, as well as this back kind of waist garter-ish deal that has the tail attached to it. Those are all from the wolf version armor. That's the second release in the line. This face is from the initial wolf release. And you can even change it out. I didn't realize this until playing with it right now. At the forearm, you don't even have to do the entire arm, but this is the initial wolf release. Right there, the forearm and hand, as well as the sword. The sword's a pre-release bonus from that very first release. But, yeah, 
mix and match options galore. I didn't change out the legs because I didn't want to take any of them off the shelf or anything like that uh, to do so. And then I'd have to put them back together and all that. So consider it laziness on my part. But that gives you an idea of just a start of the stuff that you can do with these guys in terms of options. But anyway, this has been another Kumasawa review. Again, Snail Shell. GN Project, GN001, Wolf Virgin Swimsuit. Uh, check these out, Ami Ami, Big Bad Toy Store, you know, wherever you buy these odds and ends, this Mecha Girl type stuff. But give me a like, share it to your friends, tell them to subscribe as well. Um, but anyway, see you guys next time. Be well, stay safe. Let me know what you think in the comments.